The starter Pokemon is easily the most important decision you can make in a Pokemon playthrough. Not just a Pokemon playthrough, but a Nuzlocke as well. So this is what this tier list is compiled of the best starter Pokemon. Also pause now to read the Nuzlocke rule set on screen here. So yeah, let's get started in, with the tier list. So here we are in the uh, tier list. So we're going to be going in generational order and in type order. So first we've got Venusaur and this guy is going straight into A tier. If you saw my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke tier list, you would know it's an A tier. It's good for the first two gym leaders. It resists Surge's electric type attacks and it gets great utility moves like Leech Seed, Stun Spore, and uh, Poison Powder. Uh, so it's a pretty good encounter. Uh, I'm trying to think. It's good for it. This video is not scripted, by the way. This um, It's good for uh, Giovanni, I believe, is him. Uh, Cause he uses ground type Pokemon, so definitely high tier. It does fall off a little bit after like the fourth gym, I believe. Yeah, cause Koga, Sabrina, it's weak to Koga, Sabrina, Blaine, but it's good against the final gym leader. But he just uses ground types. All right, next we got a uh, Charizard, and this guy's going like straight into C tier. Also, I'm realizing I did not add an F tier, so let me do that. Okay, so Charizard base is basically C tier, uh, C tier material. He like. He's not good for the first two gym leaders. Not, he's okay for Surge. He gets Dig, at least. That's good. Um, he's good, really good for Erica, but you can just pick up a flying type. There's like Pidgeot, Fira. Much better. Just use those. It's really not worth, you know, because Brock can be pretty hard if you don't have the right Pokemon, even though he's kind of a joke. But yeah, if you if you don't pick up a Mankey or something, you're kind of screwed for Brock because there I don't think there are any water or grass types other than Venusaur and Blastoise. So... This thing is, I mean, it can hit hard with Flamethrower, but that's pretty much about it. Alright, so next we got Blastoise, I'm putting him also in the A tier. It's good for the first gym. The thing about him, though, is that he never really falls off. He's good for the 7th and 8th gym. He's also extremely bulky. He gets, I believe he gets, he gets Surf, I think, around the 5th gym, so that's a great stab move, and you don't need to, if you're not playing with, you know, cheat codes, uh, or an emulator or something like that, uh, you just get Surf for free. You don't have to get, like, I, uh, you don't have to get Ice Beam, though. And that could be good for Lance, who can otherwise be a huge problem because of that dragon type. But Surf is like, because you don't have to grind up for Surf like you do it for, for a Flamethrower. Um, it's also, like, you know, 95 base power. So, I'd say Blastoise is just overall better than Venusaur, but Venusaur is like better than your early game, and that means that he's just better overall. Um, Meganium, this guy's going straight into F tier. So, the weird thing about Johto is that they actually did the gym leaders in the order that they just, like, the types that did not get a gym in Kanto. Just got to type in Johto, and all the types that are that uh, are weak to grass got a gym in Kanto already. So, yeah, it's horrible against the first two gym leaders in your early game where there's way more than your late game because you get you know better encounters and stuff. Also, it's a pure grass type, like it's dead to like five things. I mean, I guess it's kind of bulky, but what are you gonna use it for? Typhlosion, A tier. It's good against Bugsy, who I think could be a threat. I'm not really sure. I don't think I've really played the Johto games as much. Maybe one casual play for a while ago gets flamethrower which is incredible it's also good i believe into um ah uh, i'm trying to remember his name hang on i think i gotta look up the can't touch him later in a second all right so after looking up the gyms uh it's good into uh, i believe price and that's pretty much it because this guy is just yeah they're not really good matchups for um Jota, but it's okay all right next up is for alligator uh he's going in a tier there's i think i saw this on twitter like three years ago there's this thing where he can basically sweep whitney um i think if you get like the right nature and like you do ev spreading and stuff like that uh you can just sweep whitney pretty easily and whitney is considered to be like a run ender so that's that and also surf stab water bulky you definitely want to use this thing all right now we get to hoenn the weird thing about hoenn is i feel like all three starters are equally viable uh like for example septile is going to be an e tier and uh it's good against Roxanne, it's okay in the Brawly, it resists Watson, horrible in the Flannery, okay in the Norman, uh, horrible into Winona, uh, good in the Tain, good in the Tain Lies if you're playing Ruby and Zapphire, good's good against both of their Pokemon, but if you're playing Emerald, it's only good against, uh, I think three, because there's a Zatu, and that thing can be an issue for him, and that's good against, um, Juan, but he does have Ice type moves, so you might want to be careful of that. It's not good in really in the Elite Four, uh, it's because you got Glacia, Drake, um, who else? And Steven and Wallace. Like, if you're playing Emerald, you, you can use this thing and get some Wallace, but if you're playing, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, then, yeah, it's things, like, horrible against Steven. 
But he's B tier, you know, he gets the Leaf Blade, which is decent. Blaziken, I'm gonna put him a tier above, I'm gonna say he's A tier. He's horrible into Roxanne, but like, you can just pick up a Shroomish or something. Uh, he's, or you can pick up a Lotan, I believe, which is a Sapphire exclusive. Uh, he's okay into Brawly, decent in a couple of Watson's Pokemon. Good for pivoting into Flannery, good for Norman, who can otherwise be a massive run ender with that slaking of his. Uh, it's a horrible into Winona, horrible into Tain Liza, and horrible into, um, Juan's, uh, what's his name, Wallace. So, yeah, this thing falls off in, like, the late game, but the good thing, he's okay into Glacia, but he's really, really good into Steven if you pick, um, Ruby and Sapphire, which are easier to Nuzlocke than Emerald. So, yeah. Swampert, this guy's our first S-tier encounter. Uh, perfect into four of the champs. He sweeps uh, Roxanne. He's okay for Brawly. He sweeps uh, Lieutenant Surge, or not Surge, um, Watson, who can be otherwise be a huge, huge problem. Uh, he's also really good into Flannery, but he can have some problems with Overheat and like Body Simicrits, so you might want to be careful of that. He's okay into Norman. Uh, if you actually train your uh, EV spread, you can cheese the Sliking with Digs, I believe. Uh, I saw some flying on HG video. But he used on Sand Slash instead of his Swampert. Uh, yeah, it's good to Winona because it learns Ice Beam like every other water type so far. Great Natane Liza can fire off Stab Surfs, and then it's. I guess it could be a pivot or something in the Juan, not sure. But it's good for the Elite Four, can be good for Drake, can't be really good for Glacia. Uh, okay for Sydney. Oh, by the way, something I forgot to mention Blaze King can be sweep Sydney, but it's what Sydney sweeps Sydney, so it's not a big deal. And, um, what was the third Elite Four member? Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. So we got Drake. Oh, uh, Phoebe can't really do anything into Phoebe, so, yeah. Uh, Torterra, this guy's going straight into, uh, A tier. So, he's good against the first gym leader, okay against the second gym leader. I don't think he's that good into Maylene. I mean, he could be okay. Uh, Fantini's okay. Crasher Wake, he's gonna be solid into Crasher Wake. He's okay for the Elite Four. I mean, it's pretty bulky. Ground Stab Earthquake is amazing in this game. Uh, yeah, he's definitely A tier. And for another S tier, it's great for the first two gym leaders. Okay, can't really do anything to Fantina, can't really do anything to Wake. Uh, but it's great for the early game. Also, close combat, Mock Punch, Flamethrower. Uh, great. And also, you don't have to buy Flamethrower in these games. They're, it's in, I think, the. Ironworks, you can pick up the team for Flamethrower, but that might be in Platinum. It's also good into Cyrus, and then some of Cynthia's Pokemon, but pretty much every starter is good into at least one Cynthia's Pokemon. Empoleon, A tier. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Empoleon, I mean, it's okay, but it's good for the first gym leader, like every other starter. Um, it's okay into Gardenia, it actually does not, it's not super effective against Grass, or it doesn't, like, take super effective hits from Grass. Uh, I believe it's okay, it's not okay into Fantina, it's okay into, uh, it's okay into, what's his name, Crasher Wake, um, I'm trying to think, it's, he's okay into, uh, um, the Elite Four, he's gonna, like, Flint if you're playing with those, with that, that Platinum version, because in the Diamond Pearl version, the Pokedex is really scuffed, but yeah, Steel type equals A tier encounter, superior, F tier, what's, what, what's the point of this thing, it's weak to, like, the first two gyms, it's, Good against it. It's okay in the Lenora, but like the first three gyms, I think like the first four gyms matter more than the other gyms. That's why I put Blaziken in A tier, even though it's weak against the last three gyms of the game. Um, but yeah, w what are you gonna do with this thing? It's a grass type. There's especially when Embor exists, who's an A tier encounter. Um, yeah, he's definitely a great encounter. He's good into the first gym leader. He's good into the second gym leader. He's really good into the third gym leader. Uh, he's okay in the fourth gym leader. Uh, he's sucks for the fifth gym leader but i mean honestly at that point you're gonna have better options uh i haven't really played black and white i think i've played it one time but it's definitely the best pokemon game Summerrock, oh uh, i put him in b tier he's good for the first gym leader i mean he's okay overall like the gyms he's weak to elsa though which kind of sucks but he does get encore and surf which are great abilities and can be used like pretty good in the league four all right so next we got the so from here like this is kind of hazy uh also, I'm not going to be ranking the Paul Dayan starters, not the Paul Dayan starters, the uh, Legends RC starters, because uh, you can't really not select those games, so I'm not going to count those. Just not. Um, I'd say he's solid, like, he's not good in the Riola, which should be a huge uh, run killer, 
but he's good in two, I'm trying to think, he's good in two, who's the second gym leader in this game, um, okay, okay, uh, he's good in two, Grant, I believe, I think that's his name, Grant, yeah, Grant, and then he's okay in two, um, I feel like I gotta look it up, Carlos, I probably, maybe I should have scripted this video, I don't know, oh, he's good in two, he's not, good into shallow or city gym leader he's not good into um he's not good into this guy ramos he's just not good in the yeah maybe he's not as good as i thought he was gonna be i mean he's bulky but that's about it so i think i'm gonna put him in like c tier del fox as much as it pains me to say it, it's an a tier encounter great into look as you can see right here it's great into viola okay into work uh pretty decent actually it's pretty good into uh Kirora. Great in the Ramos, great in the, uh, Clement, I believe his name is. Okay for this guy, and that's great, so. For Wolfric, so I'm not putting him in A tier, actually. Greninja? No, it's a really cool Pokemon. It's actually my favorite starter Pokemon, but this thing is just, like, paper thin weak. Like, you, you can't really do anything. It just sounds so cool. Like, on paper, I know Pokemon Challenger said this. It's great on paper, but it really sucks. Because it's, I don't think it has very good defenses, and it just doesn't really get any good moves. It gets outsped a lot of the time, so, yeah. Alright, this, uh, this is where it gets really, really hazy for me. I haven't, actually, I haven't played Gen 9 yet. Uh, so I'm gonna, just gonna be going off of what I've, like, seen on the internet. Alright, anyway, Decidueye, I'm gonna be putting in, like, B tier. I think both of these guys are viable. Uh, especially in Cinnamore. I think Dark and Fire type is a great, uh, type combination. and can definitely be used. I did a... On my first playthrough of Ultra Sun, I used all three starters, and they didn't really struggle. Uh, I know if you're doing a Nuzlocke, it can be a little bit hard, but these guys are pretty good. Uh, Ghost Typings and the Dark Typings are really, really good. And then Primarina is just going to go in A tier because it has that failure type, and it's going to, like, I think three of the four trials, or Kahunas, and then it's going to some of the trials in the game. So, yeah, Primarina is an A tier, plus it's a water type. Alright, oh, these Galar starters, they're all single, they're all, oh, I can't even speak, singularly typed. So you can't really do anything with them. So as a result, I think I'm going to be putting them all in that C tier. Like, Italian's going to actually go in D tier because it's a glass cannon, but it's also a water type. So it doesn't really have any weaknesses. Um, but Rillaboom and... Actually, Rillaboom will put... Yeah, I'll put ahead of him. But, like, these guys just kind of suck. Can't really do anything. I'm going to... The reason why I'm putting Cinderace in C tier is because it's good for the first gym leader. But, like, it's a grass type gym leader. So, yeah, I just... Just... I ditch, I mean, you can keep your starter, but I think I ditch it for, like, better Pokemon. Um, Mio Scarada, and it's going into A tier. Uh, it gets Flower Trick, I believe, which always crits and gets a, an attack boost, or a special attack boost. I, again, I have not played Gen 9, so I have no experience, so this is with a grain of salt. A heavy grain of salt. Alright, last we got, alright, last we got Skeledorge, and I would have seen this guy's in A tier with a Torch Tong, which I think always goes first or something like that, and it gets a nasty special attack boost. So yeah, all right. Last we got Quavel, and he's going. From what I've seen, he's going in the B tier. He's okay. Like water fighting's not that good in this game. Again, I have no experience with these guys, so I just wouldn't really know. All right. Well, those are all the starters. Uh, the reason why this video exists is because I may or may not have forgotten to record a, another video, which I probably should do. But yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys next week. Bye.